Well, hello, everyone. It is your lovely host here. It is Team Rarai. How is everyone doing? And it's Wednesday's edition. I am doing very well. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. All the information for my social media accounts will be down below. So follow me, follow me, follow me. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. There you go. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my electrifying thoughts, my amazing opinions on the subject and of course... The article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty then, now if you have seen, or have not seen, Michael Jordan's Last Dance documentary this past summer is very awesome. They released it early due to the NBA um, not playing at the time. So they started early. The poster started in the summertime, but they did it early because this whole NBA had to shut down due to the virus. But they did restart it. But the reason I want to mention about the Michael Jordan last dance, it seemed like they're going to make another documentary. But this time, the W Hall of Famer himself, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm very excited. Awesome. I'm getting the chills. Recently, um, Netflix made an announcement they're going to make a documentary on Vince McMahon. Give me chills. I made a video on that. Go check it out on this YouTube channel. So I don't know who's going to promote this. I don't know if it's going to be ESPN. I think it is. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little preview. You guys can read the rest of the article. The, ar the rest of the article will be down below. The Last Dance documentary series was run away successful for both ESPN and Netflix earlier this year. Winning the Emmy Award, the outstanding documentary, and et cetera, et cetera. So it was very awesome. Now it's going to be released on um, Blu-ray. The day after my birth, <clears throat> the day after my birthday, for fifty bucks, not a bad price. If you have not seen the cover, how it looked like the Mike Jordan's Last Dance, go check out. It is worth it. Okay, all the information is down below. Um, about the Austin thing. So let me give you a little preview. Okay. Uh. I don't want to. Go, oh yeah, it's gonna get released next year. Okay, she's confirmed. She's already done the filming. That documentary will be released in twenty twenty one. Okay. Garcia, you know, uh, Lillian Garcia, you know, she interviewed Austin about it. So I'm looking forward to it. So I don't know who's good. Who's is it gonna be? ESPN filming it. If so, are they going to have like a radar version and then uncensored version? I don't know. How. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm very excited. So I love documentaries. I'm assuming this will be released on Blu-ray or DVD format. So I don't know how many parts in this one. My Jordan only had like a five-part series. Hopefully it's like a ten-part series. That will be epic. So... And I guarantee that W is not too happy because they want to get their hands on this. But boo hoo hoo. But um, you guys can read the rest of it if you want to. I love Austin. He was a great performer and back in the day. <clears throat> so what's your thoughts? Are you on board on this? Are you looking forward to it whenever it gets released? Sometime in 2021. Hopefully it does not get pushed back because of the coronavirus and all that other stuff. I think they're done filming it. I'm not too sure. So, you know, I don't know. Speaking of filming, I don't know when they're going to release season two of Austin's show. It's supposed to be, um, supposed to air 
season two already on USA, but due to the whole virus thing, things got out of whack. So I don't know when it's going to be, maybe they're going to push back into 2021, his first show on USA after all. I don't know what to do. I was looking forward to it. So I guess I got, I got something to look forward to in the future. Everyone out there, have a good one. Let me know honest opinion how you look forward to this. I love wrestling documentaries. I love any kind of documentaries. Peace out, and I'll see you guys tonight for video number two. Later.